You know, as the Washington area inches closer to reopening all around, some renters are raising big concerns about landlords actually entering their home. And that brings us to the top question tonight. Can a landlord enter your place during this health emergency? Now, we gave that question to Larry Miller. And Larry, my question is, and I know you got an answer, is this a big deal? And is the landlord coming in without my permission? Well, you know, to, to answer your first question, it is a big deal, primarily because we're at the point now where much of the metro is starting to reopen. And as we've been told throughout the past days and weeks and months, is that if that safe place is in your home, then you would expect to be able to limit who can come either in or out of your home. So to the answer to that question, yes, it is a big deal. In terms of the situation itself, well, you know, people are not coming into your home without proper notice and even your consent, but even that's raising red flags for one Maryland woman. We talked with her, her landlord, and an outside lawyer to sort it all out. Because I understand you're the owner of the property, but this is where I live. Chrysanda Brown, a mother of three, says since the start of the COVID-19 outbreak, the only people allowed inside the home she rents are loved ones and her family. Earlier this month, her landlord sent a text message requesting to stop by the property in Waldorf. They want to put the house up for sale. The owner explained who would be inside the home and noted that everyone would wear masks and gloves. Jamia Franklin and her husband own that property. We spoke by phone as she read her correspondence with Brown. And I told her, I per your lease, I can notify you within 48 hours of coming to the house. If Sunday doesn't work, what day next week will be good for you? That way you will have time to prepare. The two landed on Sunday, but Brown says she still wasn't really comfortable with it. There's no provision to bar the homeowner from entry when there's a health crisis. And even Brown admits the officer, landlord, and the other person who entered the home wore gloves and face coverings. Attorney Brian Pendergraf handles landlord and tenant cases and does not represent either the landlord or the renter here. But he says that landlords can legally enter a property during the crisis. They can't, however, cause an unreasonable risk of harm. Say the landlord wants to come in with, let's say, I'm, I'm, I'm landlord wants to come in with 30 people and uh, none of them are wearing like PPE or something like that. None of them are wearing the protective equipment. At that point, you know, I think that the, uh, you know, the tenant would have a claim that their landlord is actually, you know, trying to unreasonably harm them. The Maryland Realtors Association provided a little bit more guidance on this, recommending in-person activities happen by appointment only. No more than three people, including the agent, at a time at the home. They also add that everyone must also follow physical distancing guidelines as well, Bruce.